It is a lifetime memory. There's a big story about this picture because James Cameron, the director of the movie, did not want any song. He said, my movie is great enough. I don't need any songs. The writer came, I think, secretly. And I was in Las Vegas. Renee and I were there. And he started to play us the song. Yeah. Far, wherever are you? And my husband is watching me and he's watching him. And he said, James, 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 we should stop right now. And I'm like, and I'm looking at Renee and I'm, I'm like this. I don't want to sing the song. So he says to the writer, he says, James, I have an idea. Why don't we just go to Los Angeles? We'll do like a, a little maquette, a little demo. She can put her voice on it. When he said that, obviously I knew that I was going to be in trouble. I don't want to sing the song. The director of the movie doesn't want to have a song in his movie. And I know that when I get into a studio and I hear music, I get into a character. And I even sell it to myself. So I start to sing the song. It tells me about the story of the movie a little bit. I'm already in tears, but it's a demo. It's just to put my voice one take just quick, just for them to present to the director that insisting on putting this song in the movie. I sang the song and I never re-sang the song to record it, to make it as a record. They use my voice is a one take thing. So this is a dress from Michael Kors. We kind of did the dress together. And I asked him if he would be willing to do a turtleneck dress like a glove. And he looked at me like, are you sure you want to have a turtleneck? The décolleté, the, the, the sparkles of the day. That was not the point for me. I want to sing this song the best I can. And wearing this Asprey, the heart of the ocean. This is the moment, the Oscar, the dress that I felt good in. And... A one.